Welcome to Soul Science, the shift, the tribe, the movement. May you live so true. Live from Los Angeles, this is Dr. Aaron, Dr. Divinity. We come together each day to know the truth, live on spiritual principle, and align with universal law. We also come together as a community in Soul Society, committed to being the number one spiritual coaching community. We're all about enlightenment, empowerment, and entrepreneurship. We truly believe that when somebody awakens, they have a gift and message to bring to the world, and our mission is to awaken a billion people globally. So today, I want to talk about the law of pure potential. We are on the 52 series of universal law. So for me personally, um, when I finally began to uh, study universal law, it made sense. It, it was like, oh my gosh, how do we not learn this stuff? It was like having a manual called our body and being human and not knowing what to do with it. It's kind of like having a car that you get that no one ever tells you that it can go in reverse or can drive or do whatever. You just get into it and you're like, okay, now what, right? So through this 52 series, the intention is to really understand how you're manifesting 24-7 without any effort whatsoever and how you have the ability to create, to heal whatever needs to be healed in your lineage and uh, create something new for yourself. That's why it's called New Thought. As a New Thought minister and science mind minister, these teachings have set me free to create a life that I love and for so many of my clients and people I've worked with around the world. And so it is a great honor to bring this forth through a 52 series in the podcast. So we are on actually series one. We had the welcome overview um, is zero out of the 52. One out of 52 are actual the actual laws. So week one, law one is law of pure potential. And there is not a particular order of these laws. It's not like one's greater than the other law. There really is only one law, which is really the law of cause and effect. But law of pure potential states that all at the core of you is infinite consciousness. The connection between your individual consciousness and the collective consciousness, and the cosmic consciousness. There is an unending divine source within. All energy is pure potential until it is observed and informed, and your beliefs set the limit of demonstration of principle, which of itself is without limit. It is ready to fulfill everything because it is infinite. Your ability to have abundance is entirely a question of your own reciprocity, to this universal intelligence, okay? So I will never forget, it was years and years, a very long time ago, I was watching the documentary called What the Bleep Do We Know? And it um, had this one scene where it had this kind of cartoon uh, scene of do a, a, a cartoon character someone made up called Dr. Quantum. And basically, it was showing what was called the double slit experiment or the observer effect. And basically, it was showing how when a person basically observed energy, it would go into different forms. And I'm sure there's many, you know, um, science is funny because science says it knows it all, but then everything they say, it's been, it gets, you know, uh, disacknowledged and then a new concept, a new theory comes along. So what I know for sure is this, is that there's no question that we are condensing energy and informing it. And that's actually what we entire, the entire thing that we teach in metaphysics and science of mind and new thought movement is that our mind is the backing of all energy and that we inform energy simply by the consideration of who you are and your identity. Simply by observing anything, we set it into motion upon universal law. So again, four steps that we always refer back to are wake up, reprogram, align, and affirm. The truth is that you are the factor that is God. You are that part that actually even in your consideration is creating your entire universe into existence. You're the backing of all creation, your pure potential, potential, pure consciousness, okay? The truth of you is pure potential, zero field. That's really what we are. We're zero field. And you are the backing of all energy and direct energy via the power of your mind, okay? So, Number one is to wake up, to really take a look at what you are creating through your consideration, through your limited beliefs, through your identity, 
You're such a powerful spiritual being that you mo- the moment that you even consider yourself to be an identity, the con- moment that you consider to be a woman or a man or any of the identity, you set the universal law into motion, okay? The moment you consider yourself to be anything divided, you definitely put that into motion in the universe from a polarity perspective. All of life is from a, a lie, basically. You are the infinite. And the moment that you experience being anything other than the I am or the infinite, you set polarity into motion and you experience the cause and effect of that, that basically consideration. Okay. So the first thing is really to wake up to take a look at what limitations are in your life, what identity works for you, what serves you and what no longer serves you. Where in life do you feel like you're being entangled by the things that you are experiencing versus where do you feel liberation and feel like you are empowered, okay? So you want to first wake up and really consider where do you consider that there's not pure potential, right? So a lot of us come from different lineage, whether it be in our lineage around our money story, whether it be the lineage around our relationships and dysfunction and codependency and things like that, whether it be in our creative expression or whether in our health, a lot of people have health things that come down through their DNA. They consider they'll always have ill health at some level, um, whatever that may be, right? So you need to begin to wake up and take a look at the limitations of what the potential is for you. And if you don't believe in full potential, if you don't believe that if you put your mind to something that it is done, you've got work to do. Okay, right? So we want to begin to wake up and really just take inventory, take a look at our life, begin to look at what are we projecting into our relationships? What are we projecting onto this concept of money? What are we projecting into the health? What do we believe is our limitations? And to the extent that we, you know, believe this is real, this is, you know, I'm a realist that, you know, I'll always have issues because I'm aging or because whatever, right? You need to begin to wake up and take inventory of what limitations you're setting into motion, where you are condensing universal, infinite, pure potential into your receptivity of only being able to receive whatever lack. It all comes down to self-worth, right? The second is to reprogram. So again, in society, as anyone who's listened to multiple podcasts from me, is our primary work is we do the truth triangle. We do the trauma work and we restore the truth of who you are your true, almighty, powerful, infinite being that you are. We birth your specific truth, getting true of getting clear of what your core values are, what you truly are committed to, putting boundaries on people, places, and things, and accepting people, places, and things as they are. So reprogramming, getting clear of what your purpose is and what your legacy is that you're here to do, okay? So reprogramming your subconscious mind, You can reprogram your subconscious mind three ways. One is through high states of positive emotions backed by the truth. The other is doing it through trauma, which is through high states of negative emotions backed by a lie, a limited belief. Or number three is through repetition, through literally having a daily spiritual practice and really just slowly aligning to truth, okay? So Number one, wake up, begin to take a look at where you are setting into motion the limitations of the law of pure potential. Second is to reprogram and let go of your limited beliefs and really allow yourself to align with that. Third is the lining. So aligning with it every single day. So you can ask yourself every day, are you aligning with your pure potential or are you aligning with your with your limited beliefs every day? If you're aligning with pure potential, you basically should feel empowered. You should feel like it's possible. You should believe that it is, you know, whatever it is that you put your mind to, okay? If you're not aligning every day and getting your mind right, and that's probably the most valuable thing of like a community like Soul Society is that every week, every day, multiple times, we have accountability on getting your mind right, setting your goals and life purpose statement and intention every single day and getting your mind right, being surrounding yourself by people that believe in you instead of find and look at you and create you into existence of your lack or your old story, your old identity, right? So aligning to your truth, aligning to pure potential, aligning every single day. And then lastly is affirming, affirming through your daily spiritual practice, affirming through the words that you speak, affirming through meditation, um, affirmative prayer and visioning every day, affirming, affirming, affirming every day, the pure, pure potential that you are. And so in this, I know that the law of pure potential really states that at the core of who you are is infinite consciousness, 
that there is an unending divine source, that all energy is pure potential until it's observed and formed. And it is in your observing, it is your consideration that it condenses it and makes it scarce. So I know for sure today is the day for you to remember the truth of who you are, which is pure potential. You are all of it. You may be in this incredible game of being in a, you know, limited version of an individual, but this makes a fun game. That means you have infinite, infinite ways that you can put the elements of the universe together to bring new innovation, to bring new uh, inventions, to create something that's like a fun game. You get a new way to do it. You're already the almighty beingness. You're already divine. Now you get to experience being pure potential in the human form. This is even a better game, right? So have fun with this today. Take the time to really meditate and think and pray and know the truth of your pure potential. You are the infinite source. You are divine, okay? So in that, I know that wherever you are placing negative or positive emotions around things, you are feeling the effects of that. You have to take responsibility and wake the fuck up and realize that you are the pure potential, that anything that you set your mind to, if you want true love, you've got to be true love. If you want um, infinite abundance, you've got to bring innovation and claim the birthright of who you are. If you want great health and high energy, you've got to take drastic measures to remember the truth of who you are and declare the truth in such profound ways and make the decision to live in accordance with high energy. And on that note, I just say, yes, yes, yes. I know the truth of who you are. I know the law of pure potential is not something outside of you. It is who you are. You are the law of potential, okay? And in that, have a wonderful day and may you live your truth. Thank you for tuning in Soul Society and Dr. Aaron Podcast. If you've had a calling to be a spiritual leader or coach, you can go to soulsociety.com and check out our free training. If you've received value here, I would love it if you take a moment and give a five-star review. In exchange, I have a ton of free gifts for you. Grab your free awakening book, 40 guided meditations, and digital manifesting masterclass. I also have a free money meditation and worksheet for you so you can begin to break through your scarcity mindset and claim your birthright of prosperity. You can get all of your gifts and learn about our upcoming transformational events in my bio link in both Instagram and Facebook. That's under drerin.tv, which is D-R-E-R-I-N.tv. Also, I'd love to invite you into our free private community on Facebook under groups called Soul Society. That is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Soul Society. That's S-O-U-L-C-I-E-T-E. Have a divine day and may you live your truth.